So now we're getting into new territory in Omerta, past the uh, demo stages. We've got three missions to choose from. I think I'll be choosing Gardner Basin. So let's go right into it and listen to the mission briefing. Robert King used to be one of the wealthiest men in Atlantic City. The prohibition hit him hard. Forced to close down his distillery, unable to pay his loans. He went bust and took his own life. All that remains of Robert King is a warehouse overflowing with impounded King Liquor Whiskey. I want that whiskey, and I have a plan how to get it. All it'll take is a good forgery and some money. The king is dead. Long live the new liquor king. El Presidente. Police presence is very low, which is great. And our rewards are three new team members. Very cool indeed. Does that mean we have an extra space or not? Maybe that means... No, I don't think that means we have extra spaces. It's just that we can choose extra gang members. Like new ones if we want. But I like Squigs. I definitely like Squigs. Squigs is a good guy. King liquor warehouse. Every bootlegger's dream. I need two things to make it come true. The deed to the warehouse, and a way to get the impounded liquor out. Sweet. So to tackle the first problem, I will need clean money. I can set up a pharmacy to sell liquor for medicinal purposes. It will be totally legit, and it will make the clean money I need to buy the warehouse. Objective, establish a pharmacy. You will need to rent a joint first. Easily done. We've got $4,000. So here we go. Here's a joint. Let's rent it out. Got a lot of work to do. Cell Presidente is going out for a run. What level are we up over here? I think it's just level one, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a stock standard level one. We've only got three rooms in here. No, sorry. It's four and a toilet. Pretty good room. Sell for quite a bit. Right, we've got some informants here. What else do we have? I just guess we have to go to the informant first up. Quite a small map now. A really small map, in fact. We've got a bit of an industry up here as well. Yeah, take this out first. Gone. Beautiful. So we're going to set up that pharmacy. So where is pharmacy? Here it is. Pharmacy sells liquor for clean money. Time to get my hands dirty. So how are we going to be producing producing our liquor? I've got no idea. We're going to have to work on that first up, aren't we? Well, after we establish the pharmacy. I guess we'll also be doing a bit of snake oil salesman ship. What the hell is this? This is some demolished area. This would have been quite a large building. Whatever it would have been. Unknown building. Whatever. Just wait it out. There we go. You're done. The pharmacy is up and running, boss. Now all we need is to accumulate enough clean money to buy the King Liquor Warehouse. So we'll need to supply the pharmacy with liquor. Perhaps your contacts can sell you some via a job. Jobs, uh, city officials, and the accountant's business can help us launder some of our dirty money into clean money. So, jobs, city officials, and the accountant's business. Uh -huh, so, we get, I guess we have to get an accountant business and make it ourselves. And we need to amass $1,000 of clean money, which is the double dollar sign. Okay, so we need liquor. Let's go check this out. So, you're both selling liquor. Whoa. Selling for quite a bit. I think I'll accept that. Unless... I don't know. Let's go to the informant first up. And we're going to have to go with Big Spender, aren't we? Thankfully, it doesn't cost much. We'll work our magic onto him. And then we'll be able to at least unlock a little bit more buildings. So we'll be able to see what we can do. I love how close we're living next to the deputy. Deputy sheriff. Or the sheriff deputy, rather. So El Presidente is going to work his magic. Um, I'm not going to buy any liquor. No. There we go. Great. Oh, nice. Got a brewery here. So he's ready to supply to a lot of speakeasies. We've got a joint and a house, a premise. Let's rent that out. Time to get my hands dirty. We're actually really well liked. I'm quite happy with that. We can, of course, raise our feed rating as well, which I'll go ahead and do. Uh, do we unlock anything up here? Nope. Just these two buildings. Any more informants? Doesn't seem like it. There's a politician. That's how it's done. Interesting. So, establish. What should we establish? So, you produce cheap beer, and the distillery produces liquor. So, I want that. What else do we have? I guess we need some much higher ratings. So, let's go with the distillery. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. Uh, illegal brewery. But breweries do beer though. We've got a joint up here. 
city official. Really? There's got to be more things. I must be missing something. There it is. That's what we want. We want a big spender. Start that up. And... We still haven't established this. Wait. Okay, big spender and yes. You don't have to repeat You go there, Squigs. And, well, El Presidente is right? done. He's established the distillery. And we're producing at 100% efficiency. We've got one heat now. So I've got to watch out for the heat. So we don't get too much. Oh, that's quite a good amount of um, efficiency that will be increased. But I already got $33. Let's just see how much we can get. Uh, let's increase the efficiency while we're at it. And Squigs, he still hasn't done his little bribery. Uh, let's see. Buying some liquor. Okay. That's a really good price. Selling hey, the liquor. Soldier, here's the deal. Got a lot of work to do. Okay, so El Presidente is going to go to him. To get go to the ex militiaman the veteran. I took the jam out of their donut. Okay, so he's found five places of interest now. Very good. Got a warehouse which we can raid. There's another informant here. Okay, here we go. Here's the house. And that other informant. Okay. That's how it's done. So we completed the liquor job, so we've got even more liquor. So we can keep on selling at the pharmacy. Sell so three or more liquor per minute. Okay, that could be handy, I think. It doesn't really show you how much liquor is selling for, though. But we'll get the thousand dollars soon, so I'll just wait it out. I would like to get a bit more uh, dirty money, though. We'll wait it out, though. Unless, of course, I can upgrade this, but... Oh, then I'll be running out of dirty money. So you pay $39 for salaries, and we pay that through dirty money. So it's not really a worry. Although I do need to start thinking about how are we going to be making some money. Dirty money, that is. I think I just sweat it out for the time being. Or oh, you know what? Uh, let's go rent this. Time to get my hands dirty. And where's the house? Over here. Let's go rent this out. Have to repeat that. We're at $215, which is nothing. Hopefully we won't run into any problems. Of course we can sell things and buy liquor. Ooh, it's quite expensive really. I just really want to. Well, you're buying liquor, actually. It's pretty good. I don't feel. Like I'm a bit rusty, but I'll get Doc do to it. go there. We've rented this premises. We need to wait up until we rent the joint. You rented that premises really quick, didn't you? You sure did, Squigs. Good job, job. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Okay, so what should we establish here? Well, dirty money will never hurt anyone. So I'm thinking about the speakeasy here. Then we'll have competition here as well. But I do like the dirty money. Got a lot of work to do. And up over here, I will establish or at least try to establish a brewery. Yeah, I think a brewery will do. It's a free country, isn't it? Interesting. We don't have. All oh, right, we took clean money then. Oh, okay, I see how it worked. I could murder it. So I was wondering, because we don't have any dirty money, and then it costs like $600, and we didn't have the 600 so it took away our clean money as well. Makes sense, though. There's a reason why I'm the boss. You're working at 100% efficiency as well. Very good. And as soon as he's done, he's, he'll be able to get the distillery, so we'll be able to get more liquor. And liquor, of course, sells for excellent prices. So you can't really upgrade the amount of money that you'll be making from liquor and promoting beer is quite pointless for me right now at least because well, we're not producing any beer. Guess we just need to chillax a little. Uh, maybe check out some of the liquor jobs. Check out the special jobs. 
Ooh, selling 50 storage for $350. Although, I don't think I'm going to be running into a problem with that. Offering to launder 250 dirty money into 150 clean money. Hmm. That's pretty good. Pretty useful, really. This type of stuff. Um, this is pretty good bank for our buck, so I might... No, nah, let's just wait it out. I don't want to raise my heat too much. No problem with waiting. What in the world happens to the music? It's completely gone. The music just makes the game, although I could imagine it getting quite annoying. Okay, so if we right-click, of course, we can see the different levels that our buildings are at. Um, this distillery, maybe we could upgrade that. Let's check it out. Upgrades. 500 dirty money. Let's just wait it out until we get that dirty money first. I don't want to be buying into my clean money. Or digging myself a bigger hole. We're at two stars as well. And this is only low police presence. You can imagine this getting quite difficult at high police presence. Clearly not as realistic as Sim City, because in Sim City, I'm pretty sure you'd even be able to see the people walk through uh, the windows and stuff. You can see the doorknobs inside the house. It's pretty amazing the amount of detail in Sim City. But this looks quite good as well, especially with the rain. You can see the little raindrops and the puddles that amass. So just at about 500 dirty money. There we go. And I'll upgrade this distillery as well. So I can get a bit more efficiency going on. Hopefully we'll have enough money to pay off everyone. I think we will. They don't really cost all that much though, do they? How's the pharmacy going? Thousand dirty money for underground advertising that increases efficiency quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah, but it would be nice to know the going price of like one unit of liquor. That way we'd be able to calculate things a bit Fox. easier. Someone beat us to the punch. A local youngster by the name of Joey Tucci bought the warehouse before us. I have no idea how a young boy from this neighborhood found the clams to buy the King Liquor Warehouse. We have to find Joey, boss. I hear that his brother, Mario, owns a garage somewhere in this part of town. Find Joey Tucci. Perhaps his brother can tell you more. So yeah, I think when we hit 750 clean money, it was scripted to give us a new mission. So, uh, let's find out. Well, we've got to find Joey Tucci. Let's go with Big Spender. Oh, thankfully I've got just enough money. So he's somewhere in a garage. I don't think he's here in this warehouse. Oh, there we go. Mario's garage. I guess we're going to have to go for a bit of a fight, aren't we? Let's go. Where's Joey? It's going to cost us two beer. And I'm not producing any beer at all. Bit of a problem, really. I could raid the warehouse. Instead, I think I'll set up a distillery. We've got a fair amount of clean money. I don't want to dig into that, though. Uh, so let's buy just a brewery and a speakeasy. We already have the speakeasy, of course. And then we'll be able to use the promote beer to make a bit more money. Let's just wait it out until we can rent it out first. Because, of course, I don't want to touch the clean money. That's the way too precious for me. Done, boss. All right, good job. Although that didn't really help us out, though, did it? We've got better things to spend our money on, such as distilleries and buying people out and corrupting them for all their worth. Jeez, look at these two people. Oh, that guy magically picked up an umbrella. This lady's... Oh, there we go. Nice looking cars as well. Okay, 160. We need... Oh, there we go. We've got enough. Got a lot of work to do. So I'll be able to get a bit of beer and then I'll start selling that off as well. Unless I could, of course, buy it. Uh, they're selling quite a bit. 
It's a pretty good price. Wait. Yeah, I think I'll go with Charlie Luciano. My bootlegging network. Is I gonna... won't beat my gums, boss. Let's go accept that mission. So, in the meantime, while El Presidente is going and renting this joint, Squigs can go ahead and get us some beer. So then we'll be able to find out where Marutucci is. Great. And I want. Well, I don't really want anything that's here, though, do I? Not really. We're producing a lot of liquor. I think I might need another distillery. Ooh, what it's happened good here? to do business. So good that I'm sure you want to do more. It is pretty good. Of course I'll buy. I like the sound of that. Okay, and now... Okay, where's Joey? Let's get... Yeah, let's get El Presidente. El Presidente is the mastermind. Action will be completed real boss faster. Ain't afraid of grunt work. So, of course, we want things to be happening really quickly. Don't want this to drag on too much. Like a bit of excitement. Aha, uh -huh, and here's the King Liquor Storage Warehouse. And then there's two other buildings. It's me, Mario, Mario Tucci. If you are looking for my kid brother, you should check the junkyard. One of the things that Calypso is known for the best is their references to other pop culture things like fully Mario in this instance, but some of the things go completely over my head. Some of you guys might be able to get a lot of their references, some of you might not, but I'm one of those people that don't really get too much of them, but there's a lot of different references. So, my middle finger brother Luigi runs the junkyard. Joey often hangs around there. I'll kill him if he's gotten himself into trouble. Joey Tucci isn't here. You should keep looking. Oh. I guess he's in either one of these areas. And what do I need to do over here? Okay, so you've got liquor casks here. I don't want to do that. I don't want to really raid here. Let's go to this informant then. Let's go with Big Spender. 100 no dirty money. Boss. We're up to three stars now. Oh, to watch out. Let's go. Oh. Okay. I need 30 beard rating to this informant. Okay, so what's happening over here? We still haven't established anything whatsoever. Oh, a bookmaker. The bookmaker makes profits in dirty money and boosts to boxing arenas and casinos. Well, we don't have any. And I don't really want to spend too much clean money on a pharmacy. Let's get a house. This is a distillery. Let's get another house, though. Any houses around? No. No. There's a reason why I'm the there boss. There we go. There's a house. He's a protection racket. And another brewery. Okay. So, ooh, 312 dirty money. Let's go rent that out. No rest for the boss. And I'll build up a distillery here. No, not a distillery, a brewery. So I can be producing some beer. I can start selling that as well for some dirty money. So we're struggling with the dirty money. That's how it's done. And bro, it get is. My hands dirty. I like that it firstly takes away your dirty money foot though. So you don't really have to worry about the clean money going away or escaping away from you. Which is very useful. That's how it's very done. Nice. And can I upgrade it? Well, more efficiency. I don't really care about that at the moment. And 200 dirty money. Let's just wet it out. So I'll be able to sell the beer a bit quicker. Or at least for a better price. Go on, tick over. There we go. Beautiful. So we'll be making a fair amount of money. That's a speakeasy. How's the liquor store going? Wherever it is, it is over here. Just, no, distillery. Here's the pharmacy. Otherwise known as the liquor store. So what is our goal? To find Joey Tucci. Joey, where art thou? Hmm. 
Well, I do need some guns to go talk to this informant. So it seems like the informants have different missions or objectives that we have to get. We need a 30 feed rating. Or we can get five more firearms. And loosen the criminal's tongue by upholding his constitutional right to own the guns he loves. El Presidente is a mastermind. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. I'm not sure if that informant, informant will help us out, though. I guess he would, because he's got a bit of a different mission briefing or whatever. Um, let's maybe increase our hideouts, upgrades, 20 additional storage. That sounds quite good. Um, should I do it? No, actually, I'll go up onto a mission, shouldn't I? You're buying, buying, and buying. What about liquor? Oh, these are both pretty good prices. For the boss. Okay, and we'll go I'm get you as well. I won't beat my gums, boss. So both on missions, hopefully that won't raise up our heat too much. Sure, hope it doesn't. But we still haven't made use of this. So what should I establish? I think the pharmacy seems like, well, or a speakeasy? Probably the speakeasy even. But we've got one over here. job making us a good amount of money uh, where's joey tucci firstly how about let's raid this then raid uh raid the warehouse for 15 firearms and gain heat so what we'll get 15 firearms i don't want that i took the jam out of their donut good stuff got a lot of money now Oh, clearly don't have enough of a feed rating. How about we open up a pizzeria somewhere? You can't do that over here. You need a house, don't you? Oh, no, you can. Uh, the the Don Pizzeria increases your feed rating and the efficiency of other joints. I like the sound of that. So let's upgrade this first up. Get a bit of additional storage. There we go. We've got a nice two-story house now. At least what seems like it's a two-story house. Then open up the Don Pizzeria, which will raise up our feed rating as well. And then we'll get higher prices. I'm going to have to watch out for the police, though. But I think I'll have more than enough money for all that. Now, I'm, I'm thinking that Joey Tucci might be in the warehouse. Because we've got those eyes here. So I'm guessing that's what it is. Unless we've got to do something with this informants. Which I wouldn't be surprised about either. Oh, oh here we go. Luigi's Junkyard. Where's Joey? I'm in a rush, boss. They probably buried him here in the rubbish. Wouldn't be surprised. That's some mafioso doing that. I reckon establish the damn joint. It's El Presidente doing it, of course, as well. There he is. Minus 15% completion time for jobs. All pizzerias with this upgrade contribute to the total effect. So you could get like minus 100% completion time. So everything will be done really quickly. Uh, or your feed rating will increase by 10 to 20 now. Which is nothing really. What if we buy goods? 600. Ooh, it's quite pricey really. But I could take that money. I could. But I don't think I will. Let's just wait out for what Squigs will do first. Upgrade. Oh, I like the sound of that. And I like the sound of this as well. I don't want to eat away into my clean money. There he is. He's only just gotten there. It's taking him a while. Hey, the good old $39 wages. Yeah, Joey is my little brother. He got himself in some serious trouble with a nasty loan shark. Epic moustache there, Luigi fix it, Tucci. And Joey had the crazy idea of buying the old King Liquor Warehouse. He borrowed a ton of money and bought the damn thing. Stupid boy, I told him that the cops won't let him near the bootleg without an impound release. The loan shark got Joey and he's holding him for a ransom. 
Objective free Joey Tucci. The loan shark is located near the junkyard. Okay, there he is. No, that's an illegal heist. Where is the... This guy that you speak of, the loan shark. That can't be him here. I guess I might have to go to this informant. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to have to end up raiding this, aren't I? We'll gain a bit of heat, though. What if I rent it out? No. How about buying the goods? Alright, let's just buy them. We're just about at where we need to be. There we go. Of, work to do. of course, El Presidente is going. Is that him there? You gotta love his little cap that he's riding with, his sailor's hat or whatever it is. And we're already back up to 100 dirty money. So, we should get some firearms. At least a fair few of them and we'll be able to scare this guy away. Or scare him into telling us some of his dirty secrets. That's how it's done. Very good. So, uh, let's go firearms. Yep. Let's go get Doc to do it. Uh, master. Okay, he's a mastermind that actually will be completed. Oh, I'm Good a stuff. bit rusty, but I'll do it. Eh, hey, come on, Doc. Of course you can do it. Are you going to be running out of here? Our house? There he is. In his yellow track pants. Looking like a bit of a freak, really. So the Tucci clan has a plan to raid a National Guard armory. It sounds dangerous, but profitable. Win this combat encounter to gain 30 firearms. This action increases heat and feed rating as well. Nice. Uh, where's Emmett? Has he already run the distance? I can't see anyone sprinting, so he must have. There he is. He just went inside. God damn, he covers that distance quickly. He did that real Work quick as well. Makes me thirsty. Okay, here we go. Lone Shark, that's where he is. That's why this informant cost us a fair amount of money. So, we've got the Lone Shark is holding Joey Tucci hostage. He will release Joey once he gets his money back. A thousand dollars in clean money. I'll definitely take that. I'm a bit rusty, but I'll do it. Oh, don't get driven over there, Doc. I wouldn't be surprised if this Lone Shark decides to do something crazy. In the meantime, we've hit five stars of heat. I'm going to have to pay the coppers off sooner or later. Probably very soon. Uh, I'll drink to that. Friend, I owe you for saving my kid brother. From now on, you can rely on the Tucci family. Tucci. Little Princess sure got himself in a lot of trouble for this piece of paper. We have the deed to the King Liquor. But we don't have the connections to release the impounded liquor. Good manners and good profits suggest that we join forces. In fact, the Tucci brothers have joined your gang. Very good. Although the not officially, the really. The warehouse is mine. Getting the impounded booze will be a bit trickier, but I have a plan. Uh, Rabbi Hobsbawm can bless the liquor and proclaim it the sacramental spirits, thus making it legal for religious use. That way, I'll be able to sell it to the devout men and women of Atlantic City. The rabbi wants proof of my good nature and generosity. Establishing a soup kitchen should do the trick. So establish a soup kitchen, which is going to be a premises. Let's try to find a premises. There's not many here. There we go. There's a few over here now, which is good. 312 dirty money. Let's go Let that out. Handle it. Um, what if I go talk to the copper right now? What would that do? Bribe him. Well, I'm tempted to just try it out. I'm let's in a try rush, it. Boss. So let's see what bribing the deputy will do. Work makes me good thirsty. job, good job. And we want the soup kitchen, which I'll just wait it out until we get enough money for it. I'm just really interested in what bribing the deputy will do. Hopefully he doesn't have to run very far. Where is he? Probably already in the deputy's house. There he is. There's the deputy. Look at them do their corrupt dealings. 
You give me a bit of money and I'll give you a rub and a tug. Done, boss. Good job. So now we're warm with him. What does that do, actually? There's a sheriff's deputy living right next to our hideout. Who chose this location? Anyway, we can give this fine lawman a generous donation to keep us safe. Uh, and then we can call a favor. Ah. The deputy will not be available afterwards. Huh. Okay. Ah, and that was... And then you have concluded your business here. So I can only do it once. And now that's gotten rid of all of our heat. That's pretty useful. Really useful. So let's establish the soup kitchen. The soup kitchen provides free of charge meals and improves your liked ratings. Okay. Well, we're just about at... The amount of money that we need to be at. I really don't understand the point of the salaries for your henchmen, really. And they barely cost anything. It's not really a challenge. So I don't understand that. There we go. We've got just enough money. And with that, I'll end this episode and we'll continue on right after this.